assurances of honoring their pre-election pledges reverberated across the country as the governors took all the vofis. Well, here is a wrap of the governors swearing in that uh, happened today around the country. <laughs> In West Pokot, <laughs> former Governor John Lonyangapo handed over power to Simon Kachapin, who was the county's first governor, and made a comeback. Kachapin promised the locals that his government will prioritize health, food security, poverty reduction, and education. In Kericho. <laughs> Governor Dr. Eric Mutai said the journey of equalization had just begun, promising to improve the health sector and improve terms of service for all nurses. The people of Kericho and the farmers, for us to succeed is in the farm. And I want to call upon today and assure you that within a period of six months and at most one year, we will deliver for you a milk processor that will see our farmers sell their milk to the cooperative at 60 shillings per liter. I, Wesley Kipiagon Rotich. In Elgeo Marakwet, Wesley Rotich, the youngest Kenyan governor, pledged to deliver on his manifesto promising Tara collaboration to achieve his agenda for the next five years. Dr. Julius Malombe also made a comeback as Kitui governor, promising to do even better than during his first term. Makwenis Mutula Kilonzo Jr., Paul Otum of Bustia and Wajir's Ahmed Abdullahi were optimistic of realizing the ideals of devolved governance for their people. My government is not oblivious to the high hopes and aspirations placed in our leadership through your vote. We listened to your concerns during our visits across the country. And this became the basis of the, my government's development agenda. We shall carry out feasibility studies, surveys that decide to develop and implement Busia County water master plan for construction of water supply systems, sanitation and hygiene solutions. I am very much aware of the acute water shortage within the four miles radius of Wajir town and the anxiety this causes to the residents of our county's capital. My administration pledges to fast track the implementation of the Wajir Town Water and Sewerage Project funded by the World Bank under the Wajir Water and Sewerage Company, Wajwasko. Sentiments echoed by Kilifi's Gideon Mungaro and Tarakanithi's Mutomin Juki, who pledged to serve all indiscriminately. Trevor Ngendo for Prime Edition.